Hi friends, I hope you're doing well. Today we're doing another lip swatch video. I'm telling you, I've been doing a lot of lip swatch videos recently, it feels like, especially when it comes to the drugstore lip products that are coming out. I just, I really am intrigued. I wanna try all the colors. So I figured I would try the new Milani, the Stay Put Liquid Lipsticks. Dun dun. There are 12 shades, these are Walmart exclusives. They also sent their new gilded eyeshadow sticks, but we're just gonna be trying out the liquid lipsticks today. So let's read about this, okay? It says that it's an ultra comfortable lipstick. Again, there are 12 wearable neutrals and buildable bolts. It has a mess-free, precise doe foot applicator. Um, it's a soft focus matte wear. And it seems like it's a classic liquid lipstick, like as if we're back in 2016, which is kind of interesting. So we're gonna swatch all of them. Okay, really quickly, I wanted to swatch them all next to each other. So we have from left to right, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200, 210, and 220. So you can see the range all together. Pray for my lips, folks. This could be interesting. Also, I should mention that these are $12.49 on Milani's website, but of course, drugstores can vary. Sometimes Walmart has like a little bit of a sale. So let me show you the packaging. This is the doe foot applicator. It's pretty small actually. It doesn't have any smell. It just smells like a classic liquid lipstick. Oh my gosh. All right, we'll see how this goes. I'm also pretty sure that this is replacing their other line of liquid lipsticks that they used to have. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. So let's try these. How do you guys feel about liquid lipsticks? Are you into them right now? Do you feel like you're into glossy lips more? Tell me in the comments. I feel like I'm definitely more of a glossy kind of a person, um, but I do like more matte like bullet lipsticks. I'm not sure if I'm into liquid lipsticks again yet but maybe it'll have a comeback. I honestly feel like that style of makeup is kind of coming back in a way, or at least it will in the next couple years. Um, so this is the shade 110 Glow Up. To me, this shade kind of looks a little bit patchy. I don't personally always reach for colors quite like this, but it is still a nice pink, and I know a lot of people like colors like this. It's just not like my cup of tea. It's drying down, and it feels a little bit sticky. We'll have to wear one. I'll pick one at the end to wear and then I'll be sure to like let you know how it wears throughout the rest of the night. But here's 110, and this is called Glow Up. Next, we're gonna be trying this color right here. This is 120, and it's called 10 out of 10. This color is still pretty light, but much more on like the nude side versus the pink that we just tried. This truly feels like the old school classic liquid lipsticks, like the old Kylie Cosmetics and Dose of Colors ones that I used to wear all the time. So again, this is the shade 1010. Next up is this color right here. This is called Iconic. This is a nice mid-toned rose. Very pretty, I really like this one. Again, I apologize for my lip lines. Sometimes during swatch videos, they get a little out of hand, but hopefully you get the idea. Next, we're trying a little bit more of a pink color. This is the shade 140, The Moment. Ooh, that's nice. You know, I will say I like the consistency of this. You know how some liquid lipsticks can be super thin? This one isn't. It has kind of like a moussey texture, but then it definitely also dries down really quickly. So, I mean, it's a true liquid lipstick. You wanna work fast, but it has a little bit of like a cushiony feel once it dries down. So this one is 140, The Moment. I like this one, I think it's really pretty. Next, we're gonna try out 150, which is called Snatched. This one looks pretty as well. It's a nice kind of wearable fuchsia pink. I feel like when I do wear liquid lipsticks, which honestly is not that much anymore, who knows, maybe I'll get back into them sometime, but when I do wear them, or when I used to wear them anyway, I usually reach for liquid lip products when I want a long-lasting bold lip. I don't always reach for more nude colors, but this to me, feels like more of a bold color. So I feel like I would reach for something like this in a liquid lipstick formula, just to make sure it doesn't you know, slide around all over the face all day. This is a really nice color though. Next, we're gonna try 160, which is called Vibe. This one's a nice kind of rosy brown. This would honestly be a really pretty color on me for fall. But anyway, here is the shade 160 again, and this one is called Vibe. So those first six seem to be more of the neutral shades. As you can see, as I'm like holding them up, they're more of the pinks and the nudes. And then the last six shades are more of the bold colors, which you can see right here. So let's try these. So the next one is 170 Unhinged. It's this really pretty bright pink. 
I was gonna say hot pink. Maybe, I don't know, it's kind of a pinky red, I guess. That's a really fun color for summer, actually. Again, this is 170 unhinged. I feel like my lips are probably gonna be stained from this video, but it's fine, it's worth it. Next is the shade 180, main character. This one is even more of a bold pink. Okay, this one's more hot pink than the previous. This is like a gorgeous hibiscus pink. My lip lines, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Pretend they look a lot nicer. I normally would do a lip liner, but since I'm just like doing a swatch video, I like to just get the color on. This is a really, really fun one, especially for summertime. This is like my favorite bright color I've tried so far. I guess I've only tried two, but actually this might be like my favorite one that I've tried out of all of them. It's just so different. I really, really like this one. Next is 190. It's called We Stan, and it's more of this terracotta red. That's actually a very flattering red color. It has a bit more of that yellow undertone, but honestly, it's a very, very flattering shade. I don't know. I feel like I'd reach for something like this more toward the fall, but there's something unique about it that I don't feel like I have in many lipsticks. So it's actually a really pretty terracotta red. I like it. All right, we are now gonna try number 200, which is called That Girl. Ooh, it's like an orangey red. I live for a good orangey red, honestly. That's so pretty, especially for summertime. Again, I feel like these types of formulas, for me anyway, are the best with bright colors because I just feel like for an everyday lip, I don't mind reapplying, but when I'm going out and I have a bright lip and I don't want it to move anywhere, I go for more of a long wear or a liquid lipstick type formula. These actually feel pretty comfortable right now. That's a really pretty shade. Again, this is called That Girl. We have two more to try. I really like this one. So far I like that one and main character for the brights anyway. My poor lips. <laughs> we only have two left. So this one is 210 Red Flag. And this is like a true red, yeah, pretty. You know how there's some people that wear a red lip like pretty frequently? Like it's kind of their signature and their go-to. I wanna be more like those people. I feel like I've wanted to try wearing a red lip a little more frequently. So maybe this is my year to do so, I don't know. Anyway, this is a really nice classic red lipstick. Again, this is the shade 210 Red Flag. Really pretty, I like that one. One more, it's kind of like this berry color I'm excited to try. And this is the shade 220 Go Off and it is a really nice deep berry. I kind of was suspecting this one to be a little bit more patchy. It's not too bad, but you definitely kind of have to like work it into the lips a bit more than some of the others. Really pretty actually, I like this one. I like a good bold berry lip every once in a while. Again, this is 220 Go Off. This is more of a fall color for myself, but still really nice. So now I'm gonna choose one and I'm gonna wear that for the rest of the day. I feel like my lips need a little bit of lip balm for just a second before I reapply, which I feel like this is always a good tip before applying liquid lipsticks, is to make sure you apply a lip balm and then just kind of like pat off the excess. Otherwise you could risk it kind of breaking down the formula. So you want your lips to be dry, but freshly hydrated, if that makes sense. I'm just gonna apply a lip liner. This is Anastasia Rosewood. Just something neutral to help me kind of map out my lip lines. And I really wanna wear the shade main character. I don't know, this bright pink really made me feel some type of way. So we're gonna wear this. This time I'm kind of being more precise with my lip lines. I feel like I need a little bit more blush. Now that I'm letting that dry down a little bit more than I did with the other one since I was just switching colors so quick, it's obviously feeling dry because it's a liquid lipstick, but it feels relatively comfortable. It kind of has like a sticky feel to it. I don't know if you can see this. Wait, just a second. Do you see how my lips kind of stick together? Like that. So there's that. It's not a deal breaker because actually the uh, Maybelline vinyl liquid lipsticks kind of have that same stickiness to it, like a tackiness. And it doesn't bother me if I'm just talking, but if I try to like press my lips together, it's when it kind of can be annoying. But I really like this color. So let me know in the comments down below what color was your favorite. I will be sure to let you guys know how this wears on me through the rest of the day. These do feel like classic liquid lipsticks. So it's not a velvet lipstick, it's a classic long wear liquid lipstick that we all used to wear, I feel like, a few years ago. It does feel a little bit more um, innovative and a little more comfortable than those formulas used to feel. Honestly, looking back, sometimes I am like shocked at how willingly we wore some of those formulas and how drying they were but we just did what we had to for the liquid lipstick look. Anyway, this doesn't feel quite as drying, at least not right now. 
but be sure to check the description box for my full opinion on like how comfortable this is and how it wears off if it does wear off for the next few hours. I hope you guys enjoyed this lip swatch video. I love doing lip swatch videos. I feel like it's hopefully helpful to you guys if you're looking into a formula. Um, hopefully it will help you kind of make better decisions on which color you might like. So yeah, that's it for me today. Let me know in the comments down below if there's another lipstick range you would like to see me swatch. I used to do lip swatch videos all the time on my channel. I feel like I'm starting to do a little bit more. So let me know if there's something else that you would like to see from me. I would love to. I really enjoy lip swatch videos and I always have. So let me know in the comments. Let me know also if you've tried these before and what you think of them. Honestly, it feels really nice on the lips right now. So I'm hopeful and I'll keep you guys posted. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie. I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I hope you all have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.